Okay, hi everybody. Today we're going to answer a question we get a lot. How do you host your own live talk show with live streaming? Well, we're going to do it with the Intel Skull Canyon. This thing can do it. And you usually need a pretty powerful PC to do everything on one computer. But this has been pretty pretty cool, pretty successful stuff. I'm, I'm surprised, happily surprised. But before I transfer you over to this video that I'm going to play you, I want to apologize for everything looking so messy. There's a lot of cables out on the table. We were testing a lot of different stuff. What can I say? So let me go ahead and play this video for you. Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and I hope you've been following along with our Intel Nook Skull Canyon review. I apologize, it's a little messy here because we've done a lot of testing. I want to bring this information to you guys. Um, what we're going to do in this video is show you how to live stream a talk show. Uh, there's basically two approaches. If you have an older PC or a laptop that can't handle two screens, live streaming and video conferencing all at the same time, which the Skull Canyon can, and we're going to show you that. If you have a laptop that cannot do that, then you need to use two PCs. And don't worry, it's completely possible. What you do is you use a frame grabber. So the frame grabber goes in between your PC that you're going to use the video conference with, let's say Skype, and you take the HDMI out of that computer, which brings video and audio, into the frame grabber, which brings it into USB. And then you can bring it into Wirecast or vMix as an input, right, or OBS or XSplit. So that's the way that we've been doing it for a long time. But now that PCs are so much faster and this Intel Nook Skull Canyon is super fast i7, we've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, a solid state hard drive, has no problem powering not one but two displays that we can use one side for our video production, the other screen for our video conference, and then we just use a desktop capture on the second screen. It's as simple as that. And I'll show it to you here. Um, basically, if you need to go full screen with your video conference participant, you can go ahead and just show that desktop capture. And that's your person. It brings in audio and video. Now, the one thing that you do need to use if you're using something like this is an, a virtual audio cable. So you just, just Google virtual audio cables. It's completely free. You might want to give them a donation and can accept, accept donations and you can use a virtual audio cable to bring the audio from Skype or Webex whatever you're using in fact right here we have zoom and I'll just show you really quickly that the speaker which is the audio coming out is going into the virtual audio cable so the video is easy right desktop capture boom we got the video but we also need the audio so the speaker coming out of Skype or GoToMeeting or we're using Zoom here, out goes into the virtual audio cable. Then we pull the virtual audio cable up as a microphone. Virtual audio cables can work both as a microphone and a speaker. So they work both ways, which is really, really nice. Finally, the last part is that if you want to send the video back to your video conferencing participants so that they can see the show, Basically, you can send the video via the external webcam feature. There's, that's available in vMix and Wirecast. Then you select in your video, you select your, your video there, which I've done, and now the video that shows up as your webcam is the live show. So that's called return video. And then finally, if you want to also return the audio back to your participants, you can use a second virtual audio cable, works the same way, and then your microphone is actually the audio output of the software. I know it's a lot there, we've got um, two different courses on Udemy that covers this in more depth, but that's the basics of it. I hope that makes sense. Um, we, again, we've got really in-depth courses available on Udemy that takes you through this whole process helps you really brand and create a nice live stream. But as you can see here, that's the nuts and bolts of it. I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube Okay, so that is it, guys. If you have any questions, leave comments below, like this video, and then below in the description, there is a link to our in-depth course that shows both ways a little bit more in-depth. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video.